Hey guys, I'm Ashley Graham, and you are on the set of Harper's Bazaar UK with me, basically only me, in quarantine, and my awesome husband behind the camera, because we just did the whole shoot by ourselves. And now for a few life lessons that I've learned in the last four months of being a new mommy. Something that I've learned um, navigating my career as a new parent is that there are things that have more priority than others, and Isaac being one of them, there isn't such an urgency to get things done right away. And I'm so glad that I now, I can't say that I know the word balance, but I'm starting to put things more in um, order of importance. And um, Isaac teaching me that that happiness and life and love with him is key. Priorities, for instance, when Isaac is hungry and I have a Zoom meeting at the exact same time, I just pop him on the boob and have the Zoom meeting. All you gotta do is just tilt the camera up a little bit. You can do anything from here down. <laughs> When it comes to style and new motherhood, I have to say whatever is easy and comfortable and also what's the easiest for me to get my boob out. So I am wearing nursing bras 24 seven and I love a good button down because you just pop a couple buttons open, put the boob out and, um, and it's feeding time. But also I need stretchy everything. Oversized, yes. Something interesting that I've learned about motherhood as it relates to criticism is that when you're pregnant, everybody's obsessed with you and it's like, oh, let me rub the belly, I'm so happy for you. And then the baby comes and they're so excited to meet the baby. But what happens when the baby comes is that everybody has an opinion about how you parent. Even though they told you, don't take advice from anybody, you've got this, you do what you wanna do. And um, case in point, when I was changing Isaac's diaper at Staples, because he had a blowout, because I had no car to change him in, it just goes to show you that everybody's got an opinion and everybody's got a point to prove. But I'm gonna parent Isaac the, way, the best way that I know how. Opinions are just like Isaac's diapers. They're full of ish and they all stink. <laughs> So when it comes to beauty regime and self-care, I promise you everything has fallen out the window. Um, I don't even think I showered for the first week that Isaac was born. And now that we're in quarantine, I'm lucky if I get a shower in or remember to brush my teeth. But when he is taking a nap, I either have a choice to take a nap, eat, get work done, or do some kind of self-care. So what do you think I'm doing? Fitness and well-being is incredibly important for me, especially as a new mommy. Obviously, it's the health benefits, but it's also the endorphins. It's that one solid hour of time that I have to focus on myself and to really just have no stress. And, uh, and I love working out with my trainer, Kira, and, I like, and I'm also doing lives with everybody on Instagram, which has been really fun for me. When it comes to love and being a new mommy, there's a whole new dimension that has to do with love. And I'm not just pouring all of myself into Justin and my career and myself, but now I've made this whole new space for Isaac. And I'm learning a lot about him, but I'm also learning a lot about myself and this unconditional love that I always heard about from other parents. And now I'm experiencing it and it is euphoric in so many ways. But the littlest thing he'll do in the morning when he wakes up and he'll just look me in the eye and just giggle and do his coos and his cows. And it's just so sweet and my heart is so full every day. But the biggest life lesson that I've learned as a new mommy in quarantine is flexibility, how to roll with the punches, and how to really find joy every single day. And one of the biggest things is being able to be creative wherever I am, like Lincoln, Nebraska. Shout out to Lincoln. I never thought that I would be home for this long, and I'm loving it. 
I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much, Harper's Bazaar UK, for the honor of shooting the cover here in quarantine with my awesome husband, Justin, behind the camera. Hi. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy.